Hello again, music fans. I am back here for another um, metal collection update. Okay, I was actually going to wait until the new Iron Maiden CD uh, came out, you know, but that's still about a week away. But I unexpectedly received a package uh, of an order that I had made about um, almost two months ago from Nuclear Blast, you know, which I had almost given up for lost, but fortunately it did came, you know, better late than never. So let's get started some um, a band that I absolutely adore of course we have to start with some power metal here with Blind Guardian this is their first album Battalions of Fear as you can see right there on the side this is the 2017 remaster and it includes the original album plus uh, four bonus tracks in the form of uh, demos okay but this entire album is really cool it's very raw you know Mm, but you can st see the beginnings of what Blind Guardian uh, would become. You know, there's a lot of a bit of a bit of a Iron Maiden isms here. You know, some Iron Maiden influence there, as well as a lot of just uh, plain old speed metal. Okay, but Towns of Fear really uh, glad to have this one. Another classic power metal band. We're talking about Stradivarius here with Elements Part One. There you go, fantastic cover. Even though this is a, I believe a, com a cover done with a, with a computer generated art, you know, but uh, which I normally don't like, but here they do pull it off. This is one of their classic albums. A lot of great stuff here, you know, starting with the first track, Eagle Heart, you know, okay. Great, uh, epic, speed, very very fast. Um, uh, power metal here from Stradivarius. For both of those bands, I really want to get to their full discography. And now for a band that you may not have heard of, okay, but the, but they're absolutely excellent. In fact, if I was going to do a, like a ranking of the albums of, of the albums that I'm going to show right now, this would be number one. This is a uh, Tarot, Gravity of Light. This is a band that no longer exists. It was was um, led by Marco Yetala, whom you may know mostly from him being the bassist and co-singer in Nightwish, even though he recently uh, left that band. Okay. So plus he has he has been he has collaborated with many other bands like um, The Lane and I believe also Therian. But anyway, this was his band before he went into Nightwish, and this was the last album with that band from 2010, I believe. Okay. Absolutely excellent, excellent heavy metal here. Just plain hit you in the face heavy metal. I mean, just with the titles. Satan is Dead, Hell Knows, um, Calling Down the Rain, Sleep in the Dark. Everything is great here. Really, really good. So, fantastic vocals right there by Marco. You know, and uh, great riffs, memorable songs. His vocals are, are in that middle ground between being clean vocals and with a little bit of, of edge to them okay now for some symphonic metal from epica here we have uh, this one which is an ep in fact uh the sol the solace system all right let's see if we can minimize that glare a bit there you go very nice cover with their the very nice back cover as also with their lead singer there simone simon um, six tracks really good stuff with Epica it's a it's a band that it does take me a little while uh, for me to for their albums to sink in you know I'm still trying to digest the, the other two that I have um, of them um, Omega and I believe it is I can't remember the other one I'll put it over here but anyway but really great stuff from this band this is not their latest one this one was from a few albums ago and something completely out of left field and if you thought tarot was maybe unknown this one was even more so we're talking about star castle okay who who you might ask well star castle was a progressive rock band you know not not metal progressive rock progressive rock band from the 1970s late 1970s who put out i believe only four albums this is their second one, and is considered to be their best. 
uh, many uh, people of the time, critics of the time, uh, dismissed them as being Yes clones. And yes, they do sound a lot like Yes. You know, but uh, but they do have their own identity, I believe. And But the songs are great. You know, this entire album, front to back, is really good. I really enjoy it. If you like Yes, Star Castle. Okay, now for a couple of digital purchases, and I'm going to put those over here. And that would be for the folk metal of... Uh, let me put it, place myself over here so I can get the covers there. The folk metal of um, Solstice. Okay, so when I say folk metal, I don't mean that they have like uh, flutes or violin or hurdy-gurdy like, you know, some other uh, folk metal bands. And I believe this band... Well, I don't know where they're from. I believe they're from England. I'm going to confirm that down here. Okay. But um, really good stuff. They'll, these guys have a, an extensive discography. You know, they've been around for a while. And this one is, is this album is called White Horse Hill. And that is a really cool cover right there. I mean, right here. All right. The other digital purchase, which I have already mentioned, I believe, in my spotlight on, on progressive metal. It's Mountain Collar with their album uh, Chronicle Prologue, which is an EP, okay? And it is a full um, instrumental a metal, uh, progressive with some uh, doomy parts in there as well. Now to finish this off, this update, I'm going to show this one, which I've already made a video for, which is Imaginarium by Nightwish. This is the movie that is... Um, has the same name as their album, Imaginarum. Okay, even though, and this one sort of, sort of ties into that album. You know, you could call it the concept piece, but this is a movie, you know, with a with a plot, even though it's a very loose plot and everything. I will link in the description below where I talk more about this, uh, this particular movie, Imaginarum by Nightwish. Okay, like I said, a lot of good stuff here. The, the Blind Guardian one, I really, really liked. As well as, of course, I cannot say enough good things about Tarot. You know, if you haven't checked these out, or have never heard of them, check them out. Tarot, really, really good. If you just like metal in general, um, I recommend this. Okay, well, for the next update, of course, I hope to have the new Iron Maiden album already in my hands and I'm going to try to, to to give it quite a few listens because I know that from um, interviews I've seen online with the band especially Bruce Dickinson that the album does take a little getting used to you know because it has some elements that we may not have heard before from Iron Maiden all right so I'm really intrigued about that and uh, and I'm looking forward to it okay well for now thank you very much for watching and keep rocking